Hey, it's Eddie and welcome to my show. Uh, today's episode is going to be about converting a pin-on bucket into a quick release, which is what I've done here with my older Kubota 4150. Um, generally speaking, this will be the same sort of process you'll go through no matter what you do, but the original setup on here had pins that in order to change the bucket out, you had to knock all four pins out, you had to get everything lined up and put it back in. And I wanted to do a quick release because this is a uh, a nice way to be able to change implements quickly and easily. Uh, Bobcat, I think, was the one who invented these back in the late 80s, early 90s, I believe. Um, when this machine was made, quick release wasn't an option. So what I did was, um, first off, I bought these these brackets, the quick release mechanism. It was about 100 bucks for a pair of them off of eBay. Uh, they're pretty cheap. It was not worth going through the headache and hassle trying to fabricate it for 100 bucks. You know, I got, it's fairly thick metal, it's, it's well made. Um, I had to weld up all the side brackets and whatever to attach it to here. But, um, you know, definitely worth the expense on that. Okay, so how I did this. Um, a lot of guys and a lot of comments I've seen on online forums, people talk about, why don't you just cut the brackets off the bucket and leave the bucket whole? I didn't do that. I cut a big, huge hole in the, in the back of the bucket, and that was for actually a good reason. When I figured it all out, it was actually less work to do that than it would have been to cut just the brackets off and then try to cut around all the stuff. And let me show you why. On the back of the bucket, there's a large metal um, brace, so to speak. And what that does is it prevents the two brackets from being able to twist. And one of the problems I see with a lot of the newer machines, and even the ones that come with a quick release now, is that what's holding these two mounting points together is just one small round bar and over time with the right amount of pressure that bar twists and then these connection points are no longer in alignment with each other. There was also a lot less welding. It was one straight big cut and then just a big panel that fit in there and then I had to weld on my, um, my attachment points. It wasn't particularly difficult, it was just kind of time consuming but it was definitely a lot less work to just cut out the back of the bucket. Another thing I also did was, if you'll notice, there's a little notch here and there's one in the bottom. Um, I did that because actually the first time I went to disconnect this, I dropped this entire thing and it landed on top of my foot. Um, fortunately, it didn't break anything, but I thought I might have. Um, so I realized that probably having a gap there, so if this thing drops to the ground, there's a space underneath is a good idea. So I cut that out too. Uh, safety tip to keep in mind. Also, another safety tip is don't be an idiot and stick your foot underneath it when you're pulling the release, but whatever. Um, sometimes I learn the hard way.